He like, what was the retired. what's the point? What's the I point? Think, I think he should have stayed retired for sure. Like, I mean, would you stay retired if you were going to get free money from an idiot? I wouldn't. True. True. Like, I don't blame him. I blame the Raiders for realizing you had Foster Moreau, you have Waller, and you have a third tight end whose name I can't remember, who's a pretty good spot starter. Like, you didn't even need him. And, like, what you really needed was a guy, like, they should have overloaded their offense to where it was Jefferson, Ruggs, and, um, oh, shit, wait. Yeah, they, they could have had, they could have had Ruggs, Jefferson, even if they still had Edwards, even though he's hurt. Like, they could have had a loaded receiving core. But they pass on guys who were who were stars, who are stars right now as rookies, who went from, like, 20 to the end of the first round. Like, that's the Raiders for you. And don't get me started on the fact that um, they took Abrams knowing they didn't have a free safety. And they think that a Marcus Joyner is, uh, you know, a, a serviceable safety. And they're, they're paying him money. Pete, you still there? He might be on the toilet. Yeah, Pete's definitely on the toilet. <laughs> Probably <laughs> muted his shit. Uh, but, um... I guess I'm just gonna. I think he probably knew this was coming, so he said, "You know, I'm gonna just take a shit because Kenny's gonna get in the college football news." He make himself a cocktail, probably. My mom still that's has the that. Most, that's the most twenty twenty thing ever. This man went from having a gla- a drink with a glass a glass with a drink in it to a fucking beer. You know, they're living the life, Eric. I'm a, I'm at the home office right now, man. <laughs> that is, <laughs> that is wonderful. <laughs> That is wonderful. I'm not drinking and driving, so I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> not, not getting the Uber drive for seventy five dollars to go down the aisle. <laughs> Yo, I, shout out to my homie uh, Corey Brumfield. He actually came out here. We were room. We were doormates in college. I haven't seen him in like five years. And he came out here with his girl. We, we uh, chopped it up in Santa Monica, and Santa Monica's downtown is still like insanely. Populated. It was creepy. There's a lot of restaurants that are closed. But, like, I had to fucking damn near run onto the little freeway that, like, it spills into a freeway and then turns into the street um, where that overpass is when you're walking down to the pier to get the Bubba Gumps. So I had to cut down a back street, run across the street, not get hit by a car, slid down, like, all that brush and shrubbery and shit with flip flops on, which was a total mistake. Uh, almost ate shit and died. Just to get over there, but yeah, I was chopping up with him, and I'm like, man, it's it's good times, good times. I totally forgot where I was going with that, but and the, oh yes, yeah, college, <laughs> college football news. So, um, if you wanted a smoke break, now's the time to do it. Uh, so Mississippi State and Tulsa got into a big ass fist fight. It's actually really entertaining. You should watch it. Uh, they just got into a huge brawl at the end of the game. There's a dude on Snapchat and IG talking shit to them like after they beat them because they want they beat them like 28 to 26. And Mississippi State was like four and seven coming into the game. Yeah, what, what was Mississippi State doing in a bowl game? It's the SEC, bro. Right. They're gonna get their money regardless. Right. So you factor that in, and just because you know Tulsa was actually ranked, they were like 24th. Having one of their best years ever. Their best player, Zayvon Collins, who's going to be probably a top ten pick as a as a linebacker. And everybody said he was going to be great from his freshman year to now. Like he just had that ability as a linebacker slash pass rusher. So look out for Zayvon Collins. Unfortunately, the NFL PA game got canceled, so that's not happening this uh, next year, twenty twenty one. The Senior Bowl. I don't know if they're going to cancel it or not. Hopefully, I think still things are still up in the air. Who knows? But, like, two All-Star games already got canceled because of COVID. Um, so the the ability to see some of these players was really just these bowl games. And a lot of guys opted out. Uh, some guys, De'Aaron King, the quarterback from Miami, he said he was going to come back for a six-year of eligibility because the NCAA gave everybody this year is like a free year. You can play or not play. You won't lose eligibility. So this is a free year for a lot of people. And uh, so he gets his six-year eligibility next year. 
He goes to come back, but he tore his ACL in their bowl game, which is unfortunate. Miami lost to Oklahoma State. And then Tyler Wilson, Tyler Wallace, the receiver, one of the all-time leading receivers for Oklahoma State, um, he literally just played up until halftime and then quit. Like he played he played at halftime and then just ended his college career. It's like, I'm only playing two quarters. So that's cool, I guess. But, yeah, that big-ass fight between um, Mississippi State and Tulsa, uh, one dude got kicked, punched. Like, pretty much he was fighting – and then his teammates left him, and then there was like 20 dudes from Mississippi State around him ready to whoop his ass, and they whooped his ass. One dude like from, from Tulsa like had to get carried off the field by two people because he got the shit kicked out of him. Yeah, he got, he got beat up pretty bad. He got yeah. beat up bad. It's like a street brawl right there. That's, yeah. Which, yeah. That's intense. I love football fights. I'm not going to lie. I'm usually one of the people if I can get my shit in. I'm... I'm I'm definitely getting my shit in, but there's a time and a place for that. Like, you don't just, you lost the game already. So that's something I would never do is start a fight at the end of the game. Like, you don't do that. You lost. Well, then LeGarrette Blunt do that at the end of his, uh, yeah, but Brian, Brian how no, he was actually in the, he was actually having a, supposed to have a breakout year that year. Um, Brian Howe from Boise State got in his face talking some shit and uh, LeGarrette Blunt hit his ass with a Mike Tyson punch. Bow! Just straight, straight punch to the face. Knocked him out cold. And he deserved it, but he had to get suspended for the whole year. But you don't talk shit to somebody who's angry that they lost. And Oregon was highly ranked that year. And Boise State clapped him. So they kind of had, he kind of had that punch coming. Brian Howe shouldn't have been in his face like that. But uh, a bunch of players, uh, like, so many players are opting out of these bowl games and foregoing that extra year of eligibility that they have to uh, a lot of red shirt sophomores and red shirt juniors are um, declaring for the draft. Stanford had like three guys, their starting quarterback, their starting receiver, their starting lineman, which is kind of shocking because Stanford really wasn't that good. Um, Oklahoma center Creed Humphreys, who's pretty much like a shoe in to be a first round pick. He declared for the draft. Um, he was like he was arguably their best lineman last year as a sophomore, and they had like three guys go in the first round. So you know, it's kind of crazy. And oh uh, yeah, happy New Year to everyone on the East Coast because it's like officially nine oh nine. Oh yeah. So yeah, apparently the world hasn't exploded yet on the East Coast. So, it's not Y two K, bro. It's not Y two K. I'll never forget like. Y2K happened and I was just like, so uh, what's going to happen? And then nothing happened. And I'm like, oh, okay, it's a regular day. Now, 2020, everybody's like, ah, oh, fuck, December 22nd, December 32nd is coming. Like, everybody relax. <laughs> um, And yet again, for college football news, everybody has COVID. A bunch of people, coaches and shit have COVID. It's just like Duke, Duke's female, Duke's uh, women basketball team had to shut their season down after four games because of COVID outbreaks. What does I'm that tell you? Surprised. Like that's just basketball. See the football thing. We're gonna talk about it, and people get over it. Basketball, like a lot of teams, are just shutting shit down. Uh, Wisconsin's quarterback. He's a freshman. Um, they won their bowl game against Duke. I think like fifty-two to twenty-eight or something like that, or forty-two to twenty-eight. It was like the Dustin's Mustard Bowl or some shit like that. Pretty much, this dude was dancing, doing the gritty in the uh, locker room and he broke the, the bowl game trophy shattered it while he was dancing. <laughs> I saw that. That was hilarious. I'm just like, all right, bro. Yikes. That's pretty funny. I'm, uh, it's just, it's hilarious. Like, I, but the crazy thing about, trouble? nah, but like they, they told on themselves cause there was a bunch of people on IG and everything. And, I snap and they're showing it and I'm just like, fam. Dang, that's funny. Fam, well, you broke the trophy. For a meaningless bowl game. But they still broke the trophy. It's like, what What are you doing? Okay. And, um, Can you guys hear me? Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, wow. You done, you done Lamar Jackson? Nah, nah. I was eating some sushi, but I, I was trying to talk. You guys just couldn't hear me. 
Because you're eating sushi, you fat pig. Who <laughs> no, stops eating sushi? It, did you have chocolate this time, or did you use a Carl's Jr. cup? <laughs> <laughs> See, the good thing about sushi is if you're being high-end, you can eat it with chopsticks. But if you're a degenerate, you can just eat it with your fingers. You ate sushi with a fork, didn't you? You probably put definitely syrup. Eating, definitely, definitely eating with my hands. You definitely probably put a condiment on that. You put some hood Chinese soy sauce on it, didn't you? Mm-mm. Hey, I had Chinese food earlier, and I opted for the fork with, instead of the, the chopsticks today. So, All I was going to say, though, is on your trophy note, it just always makes me think about, like, gold medals. Like, how we put them on this high pedestal, but they're actually not really worth anything. Yeah, they're useless. Yeah. yeah. And they charge you, and they charge you for it as an Olympian. Mm-hmm. Crazy, oh, like, really? yeah, they charge you for it. That's why, yeah, I like, those, those things aren't cheap. That's why they party so hard in the Olympics. Like that's how they're like. It was a rampant. I don't know if it's outbreak STDs, but there's just a rampant of just sex and condoms everywhere in Olympic Village. A couple of years ago, where like everybody was getting their fuck on, like right there, like in the village, like people were just getting it in on the spot. Like they had. That's how you. That's how you- that's how you fuck around and have a demigod. That's it, it, Pretty it's, much. It, it's like Tinder overloading during Coachella. <laughs> They're like, look, just come outside to the designated area. We'll find each other. That That's pretty much what it was. Uh, what is this, DoorDash the at the beach? No, it's Postmates. <laughs> so it's like, I'm not even going to finish that joke because it's so dirty. Like, I'm, <laughs> it's, ugh, damn it, that's gross. I can't believe Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> Um. So Michigan, a Michigan governor signed a law allowing athletes to make money off their letter of intent. They what? Oh. Hold on, let me pull it up. So yeah, <clears throat> a Michigan governor. Yeah, damn, it's official. David Bakhtiari really is out for the year. Like they have to give everyone that signs one. I'm about to pull up the details right now. It's crazy though, like I didn't think that was even possible. Um wow. Oh yeah, by the way, Pete, did you did you hear what I said about the Mississippi State uh fight? Yeah, I did. I was trying to talk that whole time but I couldn't. Did you see it? Like No, I didn't. Uh you gotta see it. It's uh But I but I, I was I was thinking the same thing when you were like you know, I I'm usually pro football fight, but this one was a little out of head. Like, 28, 26, you already lost the game, bro. You got to start fighting in the middle of the game. Like, in the third quarter or at halftime. Like, what happened, like, two weeks ago. Uh, some teams got into a, a really bad brawl, worse than this one. But, yeah, Ball State won their first ever bowl game against San Jose State, 34-13, in the Arizona Bowl. So, that's as close as we're going to get to uh, New Mexico. Sorry. No, it's all right. Um, <laughs> you don't want to go there anyway. Yeah, I don't want to go to New Mexico. I'm sorry. No, no offense. Um, also, Devonta Smith, uh, Alabama receiver, is the first receiver ever to win the Player of the Year award. He might yes. win the Heisman. Um. Oh yeah, in Oklahoma, when they got done beating the dog shit out of Florida, because Florida, um. Like, a, a linebacker for Florida was talking trash about how, like, uh, they're they're not an impressive team. We're going to pretty much walk through them. They're nothing special. Uh, Florida gave up 435 rushing yards to Oklahoma and lost 55 to 20. And then, of course, the legendary freestyle from Malcolm Kelly for Oklahoma Sooner Receiver great. He didn't pan out in the NFL, but he was a, a great Oklahoma receiver. Um, he has a legendary freestyle rap, and you need to go online and hear it. Um, the whole Oklahoma football team starts rapping Malcolm Kelly's freestyle verbatim uh, after they beat the dog shit out of Florida, 55 to 20. And then Oklahoma starts chanting SEC. Like while wow, they're they're beating him, and then, uh, yeah, Kyle Trask threw three picks. Um, Dan Mullen said my scout team played well in the Cotton Bowl. The last game <laughs> the twenty twenty team played was eleven days ago. 
What a what a.